Hey Rockbags, it's Jade with another small line video. Guess what? They've been teasing a whole bunch to do with the new update that's going to be launching very soon. And don't forget, of course, small land is going to be arriving on consoles on December the 7th. So before then, we've got two updates apparently. I thought they was only going to get one maybe done and then the full release, but it looks like they're going to have one very soon in the next few weeks. And then it'll also have a big content update with the 1.0 launch. But today, they've been detailing so much more, so let's take a look at all the teases they've done over the last week. So, first off, we've got emotes. You'll now be able to communicate silently with your friends, give them some heads up, maybe a little wave, and by the looks of things, it's got a new radial dial to show where the map is as well. I presume that is maybe just to show the map, maybe another way to do it, or perhaps it is, in fact, just pointing somewhere. I honestly can't remember if Small Land has voice chat in it, but obviously with console kids, this could be a really good addition for them to be able to communicate with each other a bit more without needing to actually go into voice chat. We then see some pictures of the brand new environment. It's very desert-like. You can see the ruins of a car, very hot and sunny. And it looks like it is going to be, obviously, just where the last update was, maybe slightly more northeast. I do believe that area at the moment is covered in water, but it looks like it's going to be changing massively to desert environment. Judging by where the watchtower is, that watchtower, I'm sure, is in sort of the northeast. So very cool stuff that they're changing it so drastically. I really do hope it means that we're going to need special kind of armour maybe to survive in the desert. At the moment with the seasons, it's all been just fairly cosmetic. You only have to worry about winter, obviously having some warming foods and some warming clothes. But it'd be interesting to see if we need a specific kind of armour to help us keep cool. And I'm really hoping that seasons will affect this area as well. So it gets even more hotter. Maybe we drain even more water in the summer months. And even better, in winter, if there's actually water holes created by flash flooding or something like that, where we can actually store up and get some maybe special foods that only grow, obviously, in the winter cooler months in the desert. That's something that's been really lacking in small land and something they kind of promised but hasn't delivered on yet is that when seasons change, the environment will change that will have access to new areas. We've seen lots of clips in the past of frozen water and then that giving you the option to go to certain places, but that hasn't happened yet. So I really want things to start changing with the seasons, certain foods become more scarce or things become more abundant. It's pretty cool as well by the looks of things, they are going to be having the rhino beetle, which is a boss in the early stages of the game being something actually more roaming around and pretty formidable. I'm sure this looks like these guys are going to be just roaming around to maybe battle with. Could these actually be farm animals? That's what the wording is. You, sometimes you just need to leave society, set up a farm somewhere and herd beetles. It'd be really cool then if this is an NPC. Judging by the kind of colouring on the roof here, I think it must be. But yeah, I'd be quite interested to see if we can fight more of the boss creatures. Now that we've got to harder areas, they're more common. Or even better, being able to tame them. Imagine being able to ride a rhino beetle into battle against some scorpions and other creatures. Spoilers. That would be really sick. I do feel like we need more variety in creatures that we can utilise. Not just to get to places, but to have them for specific reasons. Either gathering resources and stuff like that. That's what Small Land can really do with. Yes, copying a little bit from Art Survival Evolved. But I don't think that's a bad thing because it's really popular. And we get another little teaser of the brand new armor sets coming in. Sort of this big armor with the spikes on the shoulders, some nice gold inlay, looking quite red too. A new massive hammer as our main weapon. I kind of hope they are adding more weapons and more arm sets though than just the one for the new area. And if you thought you might be able to cheese this new area by just taking your blue tit and flying over and getting what you want, maybe have to be a bit more careful. As you can see, there's turrets shooting down your pet now. So this is going to be really interesting. The blue tits are somewhat hard to get hold of, but not impossible. And once you do, it does make the game far, far too easy, even with some of the changes and nerfs they did. So I'm kind of down for this. I like the idea that we're going to have to think again a little bit or be a bit more careful when taking our pet out. Although what we're really going to need now is some way that our blue tit can drop maybe pebbles or rocks down like a bomb or an artillery down onto the Aethra. Bombing raids with your blue tit sounds pretty cool. And lastly, the last tease is the stinger tail of a scorpion. Doesn't look like we're going to be riding this one. I think people are going to be super excited about the idea of fighting against some scorpions. So there we go. That's coming and I reckon that'll be arriving very, very soon next few weeks. I'm not going to lie. I hope it's not going to conflict with Ark's new, obviously, remaster. 
a lot of players will be playing that. And if this new update hits at the same time, I can see it being a bit of a desert in terms of actual people trying out this new update. So fingers crossed it's timed just right and it will release either very soon before or maybe just after its launch. But I reckon it will come out in the next couple of weeks. Normally when I've done teasers like this, the update has kind of hit very soon. I'm expecting it to go maybe on some sort of public test version first, but we'll have to wait and see. And of course, when it does go live, I'll be the first person to let you know as always. So yeah, very much looking forward to the Small Lands console launch. Go and check out all the other guides and videos I've already done on the game. And I've got my re-edited 100 days coming very soon, basically adding a whole bunch of the updates that have appeared to my first 100 days that was on my other channel that has now been deleted. I'm going to be re-uploading it with all the new fresh content from the last eight months of updates. So until next time, Ratbags, I'll catch you for more Small Land info soon. Bye-bye.